the anxiety doesn't come from the mess in the house or from maybe that you're not the most organized person. I am not either. Or uh, from your kids being rude. It isn't the source of your anxiety. It may be a stressor. It may be a source of stress in the moment when it happens. But is it a moment and it's gone and you're back to happy lightness? Is it a moment and you're able to handle it and snap back into, I've got this? Or is it something that gnaws at you, that you think about and you worry about and you wonder what it means and what's your kid gonna turn out like? Hello and welcome Conscious Mothers. Welcome to today's training and live talk on the true cause of anxiety in motherhood. We're going to be taking a deep dive today into what is the true cause of anxiety and overwhelm for moms and why is this a piece that everyone's missing? What are we doing wrong when we try to tweak our lives, tweak our families, tweak our schedules and routines and it doesn't work? to eliminate our symptoms, our stressors, our um, sort of our perspective. I hear people trying all kinds of things to shift perspective, look at the good, be positive, um, or there are those of us who are, are uh, more logistics people trying to apply a new routine for the family to shift the systems. So chore charts, behavioral, interventions, uh, getting a partner on board or shifting tasks or allocation, uh, all, a lot of things we're trying, right? As women, as mothers, especially during this time when everyone's together a lot more than maybe we used to be. Where I really wanna start with on this talk uh, of, of understanding what it takes to resolve anxiety and overwhelm. My approach is really different from other practitioners, from other clinicians or, um, or possibly coaches or whoever you may have worked with. My methodology is outcome driven and the goal is always to resolve at the level of cause the biggest stressors in your, in your world, in your life. And the reason why that's so important is because often when you're just working it out yourself, you have the wrong idea about what the actual stressors are. So let's start there. With the problem of feeling jumpy and agitated, this is what anxiety shows up as in moms, right? Like stressed, tension in the body, irritability, snapping at people, just get off me, give me space. Oh my God, I'm a horrible mother. Then the guilt and shame loops. Um, oh, no one's ever here to help me. I talked to a woman this week who um, is, is so wrapped up in, in how, how um, her husband is to blame for all of what's not working in her marriage, which has become a real point of distraction from actually working on herself. And we do this. We grab onto something. We flow energy toward it. This is the reason. This is the cause. This is the who to blame. This is the situation. They aren't the cause of our stress and our anxiety. And I know this intuitively and I hear it every week on the phone with women reaching out for help to see if I can resolve their problem. And what I hear over and over again is it really isn't new. I have to be honest, it didn't begin in March that I have been this way sort of high anxiety or amped or stressed or inclined to blame or whatever like it's a pattern I've recognized in me over time but it's just amped up right it's gotten worse we think the cause of our anxiety is the thing we can point to and put our finger on like that partner or point your finger at or that kiddo that's the particularly intense one the really loud one the one who pushes all of your buttons the one who never, never gives in, right? That kid. Uh, we think it's the number of hours we work or our job or the fact that it's not a great fit for us. 
where we live, the house we live in, the community, the lack of family support. I hear that all the time. It's because I have no family support. Now I get it. I have no family support around me. We haven't for since we had kids. And I also want to say that that is not the cause of stress for any of us who are being an island that we have to pull our heads out of the sand about this and it's just another form of distraction or blaming of circumstance and i'm saying this to invite you into a higher consciousness on this and a higher level of self-responsibility and and um, ownership so that you can decide if you need to reach out for help and solve a deeper layer of what's going on for you contributing to you feeling uh really stretched thin or exhausted or um or really falling apart right now the anxiety doesn't come from the mess in the house or from maybe that you're not the most organized person i am not either or uh, from your kids being rude it isn't the source of your anxiety it may be a stressor it may be a source of stress in the moment when it happens but is it a moment and it's gone and you're back to happy lightness is it a moment and you're able to handle it and snap back into, I've got this? Or is it something that gnaws at you, that you think about and you worry about and you wonder what it means and what's your kid going to turn out like and what kind of monster might he be to his future partner or to his children? So do you see the difference and feel the difference there? One is... That's a moment and I still know who I am and where I'm headed and I still know who my family is and I feel really good and solid about that. I'm clear about that. Or is the messy house, the partner who is inattentive to you or unhelpful or not understanding of you, the partner with whom there's no, there's no open communication, there's just more intimidation or inequality or irritation or just even disgust I hear that a lot too I'm just disgusted I just want him to just I'm just here because I don't want to split the family or we can't afford to split the family right now and pay twice what we pay in 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 monthly bills okay so those things are yucky but the first big bomb truth bomb I want to drop here is they aren't the cause of your anxiety what they are is reflections of your vibration the reflections of how you already feel and already have been feeling for a while now when your kid yells at you he isn't the cause of your overwhelm but he is certainly shining a light on some kind of unhappiness not knowing who i am as mom my wobbly belief about how how strong i am for this kid well, whether or not I'm the right mom for this kid, every time that my kid acts up, if I'm in doubt about what an amazing mother I am, I'm going to, I'm going to go there. I'm going to go to thoughts about what, how I'm feeling about where's this kid going to end up about, oh my God, where, how, how is he or she going to make friends down the line? I'm going to go there to what kind of damage I'm doing to my kid. Do you see in that example how the kid didn't create my self-doubt, but that's a part of me. Do you guys get this? The reality is that as long as we're there in that mode, we stay miserable. We will stay in misery until we take control of ourselves and our lives. Meaning we got, we got to prioritize ourselves. We got to invest. We got to learn. We got to put ourselves first and say, you know, I, I'm going to up-level me so that my marriage can up-level, so that my relationship with my kids can grow and transform into something trusting, connected, respectful, cooperative, and beautiful that other people look at and go, I want to be like that. And it's a beautiful thing to have that. It's a beautiful thing to have someone, even friends, say to you, gosh, how are you guys so, how are you so happy? Or how are you guys so close about you and a child? It's a beautiful thing to be able to own that and live that. We have to peel the layers and get underneath. And the work I do with my clients is to help you identify what inside of you 
is running in contradiction to that sense of peace that you're wanting. And the fun, cool part that I love about my job is that it's often not what people think. That when we get kind of looking sort of inward and check out what's happening under the hood, what we'll find is usually surprising to people. There's a kind of remembering that happens when we find out what we are embodying that's not the truth of who we are. In general, we're discovering or helping someone remember what happens in their process. Where are they getting caught up? Where are they disabling themselves? Where are they getting sort of frozen or paralyzed in their process of taking ownership of what they want to need and how they want to run their households? How you want to, your house to flow, the connection level you want to and need to maintain and have with your children for them to feel respected enough to comply. Their level of respect that you need and want with your partner in order for your partner to join you as a united front with your children in accomplishing and slaying all of the millions of things that we do as co-parents. What we find when we look beneath the surface, what are the real causes of overwhelm, of anxiety, are almost always a selection of a, a, a few different things that fall into the same category of I worry or I feel that I am not enough and I'm never gonna be enough that I'm a terrible mom to my kids, that I don't deserve this amazing family, these beautiful kids, I'm letting them down, right? I'm turning them into brats or I'm not present with them. They just want me and they crave me and I have too many, I can't, my mind is out of my control. So I cannot sit with them and be with them and enjoy them because I'm totally overwhelmed, never at ease. And now they are picking up my, I'm not enough. I'm not enough for my mom because she's always running to the next thing. She sits down and mommy, mommy, mom, mom, are you listening? And your kids are saying that, but you're not totally focused in there because, not because they're calling mom so much, not because they want your attention so much, because either you don't know how to set a boundary for them or you don't know how to drop into presence with them and let it be enough. Or you don't know how to shut off that thinking about the lots of other things you haven't done yet because you feel like, oh my God, there's not enough time. I'm not enough. There isn't enough energy. I'm never going to get it done. I'm never going to figure this out. And I suck. Those are stories and narratives that you're playing. So why? And we want to find out what that is. And that's why you come and work with someone like me who can drive down to what piece do you need to resolve so that you can find total freedom to be clear in who you are, what you say, to be strong in your energy, to be able to maintain that kind of um, efficiency, productivity, that kind of confidence as a mom. So when the stuff hits the fan, you are not hitting the fan with it. You are able to maintain your sense of uh, authority, calm, love, fierceness, boundaries. The solution to overwhelm the solution to feeling frayed, amped up, strung out, anxious, not good enough, is not to drop every expectation you have of everyone else and take on more hard work yourself. Never, never, never is that the answer. That's what a lot of you are doing that is increasing your anxiety, your depression, your exhaustion, your autoimmune disease um, triggers activating, turning on. That is not the path to the overwhelm solution. In the true resolution of these symptoms of anxiety and overwhelm is some kind of unique signature in you, uh, energetic imprints, where we're clearing the old energetic imprints of martyrdom, of self-sacrifice, victimhood, all the yuckies, just all that crap that shows up for the first time when we become moms. <laughs> Congratulations. You get to see all your shadows at once, all the ways you'll expect yourself to bend and break for your children, all of the instinctive ways that you're going to sacrifice your sense of self, your identity for others, and you get to choose 
either consciously to fix that and become stronger than you ever were before or to slide further into it and let it happen to you, which is usually where uh, people become out of control in their anxiety and in their state of overwhelm or frustration. And I totally understand because I have been there and I have clawed my way out of that using so many of the tools that I now teach other mothers how to employ. If you're at a point where you are ready to put down sort of the things that are not working, meaning pushing harder, uh, ignoring your health signs, just driving through thinking someday it's got to get easier, but it just hasn't yet. And you're tired of of uh, doing the loop-de-loops and that same cycle, it's just a lot of tail chasing going on, then reach out to me and let's connect. Book a call with me, it's free. We will talk for 45 minutes. Uh, we may not need that much time to create a plan for you. I will help you to peel some layers back and find out what's really going on and why are you stuck. And once we see why you're stuck, we're gonna look at what you're wanting instead. And at that point, if I know for sure, beyond a shadow of a doubt that I can help you have what you want and resolve your anxiety and overwhelm or whatever's going on for you, then I will let you know. Then we can talk talk beyond that about what it looks like. And if not, usually I have other resources that leap to mind or I might give you a homework assignment or there's something else that I'll help to connect you with that would be a great next step for you, okay? Not everybody is ready to roll up their sleeves and do the internal work and receive the high, high level of support that I can offer you in Awakened Motherhood. And that is okay. And you will never, uh, you will never be judged uh, based on where you are in your journey, whether you have, uh, this is day one of you thinking I might have a problem I need to fix or you're on day million of worrying about it. Um, just don't hesitate, reach out, connect. You can also message me too if you're inside of this group, comment or message me. I'm going to drop the call booking link so that you can connect with me. It's www.honorjanetsky, my full name, dot com forward slash call. I will put that in the post, okay? Lots of love to you guys.